Welcome to the 2019-2020 Athletic Awards Ceremony. We come to you today from the Biddeford High School Little Theater in these unprecedented times in hopes to bring some normalcy to our student athletes and families and try to ensure that we properly recognize and celebrate the many accomplishments of our student athletes, especially the graduating class of 2020. The world that we currently live in is like no other time we have ever experienced. I can honestly say that the low point in my 14 year career as an athletic administrator was the announcement that spring sports in 2020 were canceled. Since that time, we have continued to move forward in an effort to first maintain sanity and second, to ensure that our student athletes are afforded the best possible support and recognition during these trying times. We continue to hear on a daily basis, we will get through this and we will. Over the past few weeks, I have personally improved at focusing on and bringing to the forefront the positives in my life and my career. Despite our many losses, I have come to realize that so many great things and people surround me. For our student athletes, especially our seniors, I remind you that despite the loss of your final season, you have been the beneficiary of an amazing high school experience with so many memories that you will cherish for the rest of your lives. As difficult as it may be, over the next few weeks, try not to dwell on what has been taken away, but instead be thankful of everything you have and everything you have experienced these past four years. I sincerely hope the lessons that you have learned will stay with you and guide you for a lifetime. Since the day you stepped foot into this school, I hope that every athlete at BHS would experience a winning season, a state championship, or a record-breaking performance. However, we all know that that is unrealistic. So let me share with you what I hope you all gain from your time as a Biddeford Tiger. Passion. If you are not passionate, you will never achieve anything. Attitude. Attitude is everything, and it will be your entire life. Practice. Sports, work, marriage, parenting, practice makes perfect. Preparation. There are a few second chances in life. Prepare. Fair play. Win or lose, it is the right thing to do, always. Perseverance. There is no greater feeling. Character. At Biddeford High School, enough said. Mental toughness. It's not the size of the dog in the fight, it's the size of the fight in the dog. Believing in others. Life is all about others, not yourself, others. School spirit which I hope translates to career spirit and family spirit. No excuses, own it. Respect, everything, everyone, always. Keep learning, keep improving. Be confident, not cocky. In every success, act like you've been there. Knowing your limits, balance. Celebrating, when you give your all and succeed, celebrate, you've earned it. And winning and losing, and doing both with dignity. And with all the lessons learned from the many years of participation, perhaps the learning continues with our experiences over the past two months. Nothing wrong with crying. After all the sacrifices and all the hard work, if you fall short in the end, it's okay to shed a tear or two. Nothing reminds us that we're human like our tears. Letting go. You have to let go of things you cannot change. What is done is done. And finally, relish every moment because as we know, nothing is promised. I want to personally say congratulations to all of our student athletes and best of luck to the class of 2020. You have been a special class, you will be successful, and you will be missed. And always remember, once a tiger, always a tiger. Now for this evening's awards, starting with varsity letters. Our first award this evening is our Senior Varsity Letter Award. The following seniors have earned varsity status for their spring teams based on their participation in the spring of 2019 as juniors. So, it is assumed that if you participated on a spring team in 2019, you would have returned this spring in 2020. All of our 2020 spring senior athletes are being awarded varsity status. They will be awarded pins or varsity letters. Pins are awarded to athletes who have already lettered in the sport they are participating in or another sport. Varsity letters are awarded to athletes lettering for the first time. 
Seniors who will be awarded pins. In baseball, Nick Lyons, Delano Bosha Hale, Matt Roussel, Curtis Edgerton, Brady Wilds, Ben Tebow, Dakota Crocker. In softball, Corey Cody, Jillian Greenleaf, Abigail Mishu. In boys lacrosse, Simon Gilro, Zach Gay, Mike O'Driscoll, Matt Lamoro, Bryce Prey, Keegan Munch, Trenton Mills, Nate Udley, Zach Audet. In girls lacrosse, Claudia Janelle, Gracie Willette, Carly McQueen, Megan Morris, Jillian Lewis. In boys tennis, Blake Iliano. In girls tennis, Maggie Dallaire, Haley Letourneau, Kaylee Perron, Madison Sony Laranja, Olivia Sullivan, Mercedes Toms, Boys Outdoor Track, Zach Audet, Ben Drummy, Max Goodwin, Owen Goodwin, Seth Harding, Anthony Mariello, James Munson, Bart Murphy, Jacob Pinkham, Alfred Romero, Garrett Ross, Alex Thurlow, Daniel Erling. In Girls Outdoor Track, Maggie Dallaire, Maria Gadman, Brooklyn Goff, Riley Masha, Lily Melton, and Ali Sulier. The following seniors are earning varsity letters. In baseball, Kobe Laveria. In boys lacrosse, Nick Gay. In boys tennis, Devin Mopat Grenya and Jackman Simmons. In girls tennis, Camden Cody. Jasmine Froelich, Zoe LaRoche and Micah Work. Congratulations to all of our seniors who have lettered this spring. At the conclusion of each season, typically at the end of season's awards gatherings, seniors are giving a, a departing senior gift because this will not be the case this spring Biddeford High School will be giving each of our senior spring athletes a sweatshirt as a token of our appreciation. On the front chest, it says 2020 Senior Athlete, and on the back, hashtag alone together. Our next award is the All Academic Award. The following senior spring athletes have earned the necessary 3.2 grade point average an equivalent of an A minus or better in the first seven semesters of their high school careers. To qualify for this award, a current senior must have been on a spring roster as a junior in 2019 spring season. In baseball, Matt Roussel, Curtis Edgerton, Brady Wilds, and Dakota Crocker. In softball, Corey Cody, Jillian Greenleaf. In boys lacrosse, Mike O'Driscoll, Matthew Lamoro. In girls lacrosse, Claudia Janelle, Gracie Willette, Megan Memoris, Jillian Lewis. In girls tennis, Camden Cody, Maggie Dallaire, Haley Letourneau, Isabella Jenga, Kaylee Perron, Madison Sony Laranja, Olivia Sullivan, and Micah Work. In boys outdoor track, Ben Drummy, Max Goodwin, Seth Harden, Anthony Mariello, Bart Murphy, Alfred Romero, Alex Thurlow. And in girls outdoor track, Maggie Dallaire, Brooklyn Goff, and Lily Melton. Congratulations to the 2020 Spring All Academic Team. Our next award is the SMAA Citizenship Award. Each year, the SMAA recognizes two students from each of the member schools for their commitment and effort to their school 
and community. These individuals are involved in several volunteer efforts and initiatives and are role models for their peers in the meaning of civility and humanity. Each April, Principal Soroyce and I attend an awards ceremony for these individuals and their families, where they are recognized with the recipients from the 16 other SMAA schools. Because the 2020 event was canceled, I would like to recognize these two individuals at this time. The 2020 SMAA Citizenship Award recipients are Madison Sony Laranger and Anthony Mariello. Congratulations to both. Our next award is the Principal's School Spirit Award. At this time, I would like to ask Principal Soroyce to please come up to present the award. Back in 2013, when I started my principalship at Biddeford High School, I was amazed at the sense of, of Tiger pride that was in this school. Uh, back then, football games were packed, and hockey games and basketball games were loud and intense, and we thought it was important to recognize one student per season who exemplified school spirit. The first recipient of the award was Delaney Roy. And I'm pleased to announce the last recipient of the award that I'm going to present as principal of Bitterford High School as somebody that has been extremely loud and energetic and has exemplified what it means to be a tiger and has always rallied the troops in times of <clears throat> happiness and in despair. The 2020 Principal School Spirit Award is presented to Megan Memoris. Congratulations, Megan. Well deserved. <clears throat> Our next award is the Iron Tiger Award. In 2008, in an effort to promote the benefits of multi-sport participation, BHS created the Iron Tiger program. This award has been given annually to all BHS student athletes who have participated in three athletic seasons during the school year, fall, winter, and spring. 12 years ago, 91 athletes were honored. This year, 12 years later, 174 student athletes have earned Iron Tiger status. Due to the cancellation of the 2020 spring season, the criteria for this year has been changed to any student athlete who competed in the fall and winter season. Here are your 2020 Iron Tiger recipients. Ashan Abdusalam, Cody Albert, Abby Allen, Zach Audet, Brittany Baumgartner, Mariah Bailey, David Bean, Logan Bean, Haley Bedard, Kyle Benson, Lexi Berry, Savannah Berry, Derek Bowles, Matt Boothalette, Drew Bouchard, Michaela Boothalette, Josh Gradine, Rachel Brask, Avery Cataract, Caden Cataract, Calvin Kamiri, Tiana Carlo, Nick Carpenter, Bailey Cheatham Wilmont, Zoe Cheatham Wilmont, Bella Champy, Ayla Clark, Jack Clark, Corey Cody, Nick Kucha, Dakota Crocker, Ashton Crowell, Andre Galea, Maggie Galea, Mackenzie Day, Alec Dakota, Maddie Deneen, Kyle Dion, Stephanie Dion, Aiden Donovan, Charlotte Donovan, Liam Donovan, Alexandra Dutil, Renee Dutrumble, Curtis Edgerton, Oshea Edmund, Ayuba Fofana, Ellie Fornia, Helena Gabrzewski, Luke Gagne, Maria Gagnon, Brooklyn Goff, Don Goff, 
Sean Gonville, Hillary Gonzalez, Max Goodwin, Owen Goodwin, Will Goodwin, Hannah Gosselin, Jillian Greenleaf, Colin Gregoire, Nick Gay, Lexi Hale, Brady Ham, Chloe Hardy, Seth Hardy, Sam Perriman, Will Perriman, Hannah Harrington, Mohammed Hashim, Delaney Hatch, Coley Hatt, Allie Hayden, Abby Hughes, Amber Hewitt, Selena Hewitt, Blake Iliano, Kiana Jackson, Nicholas Jakes, Claudia Janelle, Caleb Janelle, Brianna Keeley, Kaylee Keeley, Kelsey Keeley, Cece Keller, Scott Kelly, Julia Ketchum, Devin Kraus, Sarah Labby, Caleb Labonte, Matt Laflum, Christian Laflum, Jordan Lakin, Jacob Landry, Kobe Laveria, Anna Levine, Mackenzie LeBlanc, Adam Lewis, Brett Lewis, Jillian Lewis, Lexi Libby, Braden Locke, Carly Lovejoy, Nick Lyons, Chase Magnet, Andrew Marcotte, Anthony Mariello, Mercedes Martinez, Riley Masha, Alex McCleavy, Bernica McDaniel, Carly McQueen, Jill McSorley, Lily Melton, Shaylin Menard, Abby Mishu, James Munson, Lauren Munson, Ethan Moulton, Megan Mamoris, Mustafa Mushari, Bart Murphy, Emily Noon, Emmanuel Kunzamana, Destiny Noonan, Michael Odrisco, Patrick Odrisco, Pius Bolanga, Andrew Ouellette, Gracie Ouellette, Josh Paquette, Laura Perrault, Caden Pettit, Jacob Pinkham, Jackson Polar, Emma Raymond, Mark Reale, Nick Reisfelder, Dominic Roberts, Alfred Romero, Garrett Ross, Josh Rudman, Kerry Scott, Tyler Shume, Connor Smart, Jack Smith, Madison Sony Laranja, Ali Suya, Olivia Sullivan, Cheyenne Tardif, Grace Tardif, Antonio Taylor, Ben Thibault, Isabella Thibault, Mercedes Toms, Traylon Thor, Alex Thurlow, Colin Tippett, Aiden Tompkins, Alex Trembley, Riley Turner, Dan Erling, Caleb Vijay, Delano Gosha Hale, Bailey Walker, Christopher Walton, Jamie Walton, Victoria Waterhouse, Caitlin Weeks, Chloe Whitaker, Baylor Wilkinson, Bryson Wolfhart, and Isaiah Wright. Congratulations to our 2019-2020 Iron Tiger recipients. Our next award is the Golden Tiger Award. In 2012, four years into the Iron Tiger program, BHS recognized the first class of Golden Tigers. This award was established to honor those individuals who earned Iron Tiger status all four years of their high school careers. Each student entering high school has 12 seasons of eligibility over a four-year career. These individuals competed in all 12 minus the canceled spring season. Each year at graduation, Golden Tigers wear the Golden Tiger Medallion in honor of this amazing accomplishment. I would now like to recognize the 28 members of the Class of 2020 Golden Tigers. Zach Audette, Corey Cody, Dakota Crocker, Maggie Delaire, Curtis Edgerton, Maria Gagnon, 
Brooklyn Goff, Owen Goodwin, Jillian Greenlee, Nick Gay, Delano Vosha Hale, Claudia Janelle, Jillian Lewis, Nick Lyons, Anthony Mariello, Riley Masha, Carly McQueen, Lily Melton, Abigail Mishu, Megan Amoris, Michael O'Driscoll, Garrett Ross, Ali Suya, Olivia Sullivan, Ben Tebow, Mercedes Toms, Alex Thurlow, and Daniel Erling. Congratulations to our class of 2020 Golden Tigers. Our next awards are the Brother Richard Heber and Stephen F. White Award. The Brother Richard Heber Award was established in 1976 and is presented annually to the top female athlete in her graduating class. This recipient must have met the criteria of lettering in a minimum of two varsity sports and must be in good academic standing. This prestigious award is named after former athletic administrator, coach, and Hall of Honor recipient, Brother Richard Heber. The recipient of this award is voted on by the coaches of all 26 varsity programs at Biddeford High School. The recipient of the award will have their name added to the plaque in the Tiger Gym lobby with the 46 previous recipients of the award. The Brother Richard Hebert Award for the class of 2020 goes to Megan Memoris. Congratulations, Megan. Our final award this evening is the Stephen F. White Award. This award, established in 1959, is presented annually to the top male athlete in his graduating class. This recipient must have met the criteria of lettering in a minimum of two varsity sports and must be in good academic standing. This prestigious award is named after, the, after former athletic administrator and Hall of Honor inductee Stephen F. White. The recipient of this award is voted on by the coaches of all 26 varsity programs at Biddeford High School. The recipient will have his name added to the plaque in the Tiger Gym lobby with the 70 previous recipients of the award. The Stephen F. White Award for the class of 2020 goes to Curtis Edgerton. Congratulations, Curtis. That concludes the portion of our Athletic Awards presentations for the 2019-2020 year. Congratulations to all of our recipients. At this time, I would like to introduce you to our student speakers, Ms. Claudia Janelle and Ms. Jillian Lewis. BHS athletes. We know these times are hard, but we hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy. We know that this isn't the spring sports season we were all hoping for. Not with your friends scoring goals, cheering for each other, ringing the bell, and so many other traditions. Looking back on three and two thirds years of wearing a Tiger uniform, we have learned there's a lot more to sports than just trying to win a game. When taking the first step over the white line onto the field, you take a lot more with you than a competitive attitude. You also take aspects such as community, pride, and determination. Community. Biddeford is known for its supportive fans and community involvement. The athletics in this town don't only revolve around high school sports, 
Our youth programs are equally as important. The soccer team woke up early on Saturday mornings to teach kinder soccer programs. The high school team did learn to skate lessons, cheering put on youth clinics, and multiple youth lacrosse nights were put on by our very own athletes earlier this spring. We sacrifice practice times and take time out of our social life um, <laughs> to help build the youth programs and mold the athletes who will soon be wearing our same uniforms. Pride. Although looking back, one of the biggest changes from youth sports to high school sports is how much we value pride and unity. When we play sports at BHS, we don't just have teammates, we have a family. Friday night football games have the Waterhouse Bleachers filled to the top. Our crazy pep rallies never have a dull moment, bringing out the black and orange in every student. Everyone piles themselves into the booths at 99s after a game for celebration. And the symbolic ringing of the bell can be heard blocks away from the school after a victory. No matter what the outcome may be, we always have each other's backs and cheer on our teams at the next match. Determination. It has always been a priority for us to be respected by other teams and play with no regrets. Even in times of being labeled the underdogs or being behind on the scoreboard, as Tigers, we never back down or let up. If we are ahead on the scoreboard, we always look for new ways to become better and push our limits. We, be, we complete until the final whistle blows and never settle, not only for ourselves, but for each other. Now that we are dealing with the pandemic, and we've missed out on our spring sports season, we are applying everything we have learned from being a BHS athlete to help us through this tough time. We are coming together as a community, not physically, of course, but we are finding new ways to support each other through Zoom calls, drive-bys, and live-streamed award banquets like the one you're watching right now. We are using the determination we use to put into games by having the motivation to complete Google Classroom assignments or get out for a run. We are finding new ways to let out our competitive side. Like who will finish Tiger King first? Who will get the new high score on Just Dance? Which boy will have the courage to save a mullet next? <laughs> and who will spend the most time on TikTok? Oh, Claudia and I, <laughs> Claudia and I have been fortunate to be teammates these past four years. And as we close out our final season as BHS Tigers, we do so knowing that we have a foundation of resiliency, pride, and confidence that only being part of this BHS community could have fostered. Although we may not be congratulating each other in person today with high fives and hugs, each of us moves on to the next phase of our lives feeling the fabric of orange and black that connects us as we walk our individual paths alone but together. Everyone stay safe, healthy, and positive. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, Claudia and Joey, and great job. The following video was produced by Biddeford High School student athlete alumni Maria Curick, who was very involved with athletics here at Biddeford. She is now working at Southern Maine Healthcare for their Partners for Healthier Communities program. With the help of many of the spring sports coaches and some senior athletes, she put together the following video in hopes of bringing some positivity to the community of Biddeford during this pandemic. Being involved with high school sports, especially at Biddeford, is a feeling like no other because our community is so supportive and has so much pride. It makes the experience so special. Um, you're also opening the doors to so many new opportunities, friendships, and memories you'll never forget. Hi, my name is Michael Odrisco. I'm a senior at Biddeford High School and I'm a member of the lacrosse team. Hi hey everyone, I'm Curtis Edgerton. I play football, basketball, and baseball. Hi everyone, my name is Claudia Janelle and I'm a member of the soccer, cheering, and lacrosse teams at Biddeford High School. Hi, I'm Isabella Jenga and I am the senior captain for the 2020 girls tennis team. Um, I've played all four years of high school. Hi, I'm Ben Drummy. I'm a senior at Biddeford High School. I'm on the track team. I'm a pole vaulter. Hey guys, my name is Katie Munch. I'm a senior cosplayer from Biddeford. Hi, my name is Megan Memorias. I'm a senior at Biddeford.
Hartford High School. I play field hockey, basketball, and lacrosse. Hi, my name is Matt. Um, I'm a senior at Bitterford High School, and I've played lacrosse for the past three years. There are a couple questions. So here we go. So first question is, what advice would you give to younger athletes during this time? I definitely recommend staying active, just trying to get outside as much as you can. Uh, I know it's really easy to sit inside and play video games all day because it's easier, but um, it's important to maintain healthy habits uh, even during this time. So advice I would give to the younger athletes is stay in shape the best you can. This summer, work hard. You've got fall seasons coming up. I think some advice that I would give to younger athletes during this time is to never take a practice or a game or a team dinner or a team bonding event for granted because you never know when your last match, when your last game, when your last team dinner could ever be with those people. So I think truly just enjoy everything. I know sometimes it's hard. No, you don't want to go to practice. But truly make the best of the four years in high school sports because you know you never know when it could end. Um, some advice that I have for the younger athletes is just take every moment in uh, on and off the field with your teammates. You make a lot of good close connections and some great memories for sure. And some advice to some athletes and younger athletes during this time is to try and get outside and stay active. Maybe go for a run, find a basketball hoop, and play wall ball. And some advice I give to the younger guys during this quarantine time is just keep shooting, passing, you can do that at home, play some wall ball, all that stuff. So if I need any advice for younger athletes, I'd have to say, just try to make some good of this situation. It seems like we're all locked in our houses, but try to get outside, take advantage of this time off and get better at what you do. It's really important to utilize this time right now to go out and get active still, um, go on hikes, go to a field, go to a park, whatever you need to do just to fine tune some skills. Uh, second question is, what is your favorite memory for the sport you play, which is lacrosse? Uh, mine is definitely winning the first playoff game in program history against uh, Mount Ararat. Um, it was a home field. It was a home field game. Um, we were unsure if we were even gonna host a home field game, but uh, due to heel point standings, we had, we squeaked it out and we got home field. Um, we were down some key starters um, from the jump, and first couple minutes of the game, we were down five or six goals, but we came together as a team and ended up winning by one goal. It was a really close game, but it was a it's a great memory and a good thing to have for the program. Some of my favorite memories were from soccer being, we were neck and neck for so many games this past season. And um, for TA, coach always wears a wig. And for the double game, we the score was so close and <laughs> coach was getting frustrated. So we got kicked out of the stadium and that was pretty funny. For cheering, um, we were back-to-back -back state champions my junior and senior year. And being a state champion is, I can't even express that feeling. It's so awesome just representing your state. Um, for lacrosse, <laughs> we had so much, so many fun locker room dance battles and bus rides. And Steve-O was there capturing every moment in his vlogs, which was so cool. I loved that. The best memories I have from high school is Probably the Shevers homecoming game for football. That was a big win. Uh, basketball, winning my first playoff game. And baseball, just being the guys. So all over, every sport you play, it's gonna be great memory. My favorite high school lacrosse memory, I didn't really have a specific one. Just my full junior year was honestly the best. My favorite memory would have to be winning states. I just had lots of friends and teammates around supporting me. And it gave me lots of energy. And just made the meet great. One of my favorite memories from high school is probably winning a state championship and getting to know all my teammates from all my sports and getting to see them for team dinners and before practices and after games and in the locker rooms. So it's probably my favorite memories. 
Um, my favorite memory was last year when our team made history by winning our first playoff game ever, and that was awesome. Um, and the last question is, what can you give to the younger athletes to look forward to for high school sports? Um, it would definitely be the, um, the team aspect. Uh, you get to represent your school and your community. Um, I think it's unlike anything else. It's almost like it's a small family. And you're playing for your school and your teammates. Uh, yeah, like I said, it's unlike anything else. It's just really special. Thank you. And some things you get to look forward to as a younger athlete for when you get to high school is the intensity of the games and getting to know some new teammates, some older teammates, and just, it's awesome. Uh, and some stuff that uh, the younger athletes coming into high school next year have to look forward to is uh, making new friends, I know that's the way that I made a lot of my friends was just playing sports. Um, and you meet a lot of great new people. Thank you. And then for athletes coming up, what to look forward to is getting to know new people in high school, getting to know the upperclassmen, um, building new friendships with people you didn't even think you'd be friends with. What the younger guys have to look forward to when they get to high school is playoffs. The whole season you're just grinding and trying to make playoffs and middle school doesn't have that. It's just different. So for you guys coming into high school, you can look forward to meeting lots of great people and making bonds with them and having them to compete with. Right now is really tough for athletes because we can't do our spring season. We just have to work through this together and move forward and prepare for our future and just stay active. Um, thank you. That's all I have to really say. And good luck. Another thank you to Maria Cure for providing us with that video. Very well done. A quick note pertaining to the distribution of awards. Biddeford High School will communicate with all award recipients as to how they can obtain their awards as social distancing restrictions are scaled back, with the hope that all awards will be distributed at some point during the early summer of 2020. Emails will be sent with details to all recipients. Certificates will be mailed to students' homes, and I will be contacting families to arrange for the delivery of plaques directly to their homes. We will also be organizing dates where awards, such as letters, pins, and iron tigers can be picked up at Biddeford High School. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me directly at school. We will ensure that all awards are in the hands of student athletes ASAP. Once again, congratulations to all of our award recipients and the best of luck to the class of 2020. Thank you for watching. We leave you with our closing slideshow for 2020 and I look forward to seeing all of you very soon. Thank you.